Hey guys, it's me, Christina Marie. I am testing out Neutrogena Contr Shine Control Makeup today. I did test out this 12 hour Neutrogena long wear. I will post that video down below. This was very interesting and it didn't do what I thought it was going to do. So I'm hoping and I'm praying that this Neutrogena Shine Control Makeup is a lot better than that one. Um, but once again, I will post that video down below. Uh, let's go ahead and open this up. I did a little bit of reading on this. It says it's supposed to help with people that have oily skin and control oils all day. But then again, it does have an SPF in it and those who have oily skin kind of know that an SPF will um, actually not help with their oils. It will actually do the opposite. So I'm really curious to see if this works. I'm going to apply it to half of my face and go ahead and let you guys see what it looks like. Um, FYI, just, I did not say this in the last video about this one, this 12 hour one totally oxidizes and changes colors. So anyways, I'm gonna go ahead and apply this on to half of my face and show you guys the finish and check out through, check in throughout the day and show you guys what, I, what I'm doing. All I'm doing is applying this with a damp beauty blender and I will be back. Hey okay, guys, so you can see the coverage. I just applied it to half of my face. When I get close, you can see all my redness in my skin here and the coverage. The foundation is actually lovely. I think the finish is beautiful. It is a medium to full coverage and it does not feel heavy at all, but the finish, look at the finish. Isn't that beautiful? I mean, you can see half of my face. Look at that. It's like, wow, it's beautiful. But just because it's beautiful doesn't mean that it will work. So let's see if it actually holds up for what does this bad boy say? It says eight hours. So I will check in. My mother-in-law has a lot of doctor's appointments today, so we will be out and about. And here in Carlsbad today, I believe it's like a hundred and something, or a hundred, and it has a lot of humidity in the air. So we're gonna put this to the test because the weather is not all that great today. I will see you guys in a few seconds. I did just finish. I did, I did wanna tell you guys, I do have a primer under my makeup. I'm just using the Rimmel. Uh, lasting finishing primer. So I just wanted to FYI you guys that I did put a primer. I always put a primer under my foundations just to kind of help it out. Um, so I'll see you in a hey second. Guys, so I just wanted to turn on the camera and show you that my face and my makeup look very matte. It is, I've only been wearing it for about 20 minutes and I will check in throughout the day, but I wanted to let you guys see how it looks before I started hey my day. So I've been wearing it for two hours. We went to the doctor's appointment, but we went on the wrong day, so they told us to go back. But my mother-in-law has another appointment. You can see I am not very matte, especially in my nose. It looks like, I mean, yeah, I'm not very matte. And it actually looks like some of the makeup is coming off my nose. Obviously, the corners where my glasses touch, that's normal. But look, you can see like, you can see my skin through it and look, on the very tip of my nose, it looks like it's coming off, and right here on the ball of my nose. Mind you, I have not touched my face once. Hey guys, I thought I would turn on the camera. It's only been 30 minutes later, and I went and looked in the mirror, and this is totally lifting on my skin. The whole makeup, it's lifting all throughout my T-zone and looking extremely cakey. Look at this, like my nose, I'm just gonna touch it, right? Can you see all of the makeup transfer? Look at that, I touched it right there. All the makeup came off. Look at that. Now, Neutrogena makes the best makeup wipes in the world. But this, this is horrible. And their other foundation, it was horrible. So, I would actually say don't buy this makeup. Anyways, I am Christina Marie. I'm out. If you could uh, give this video a thumbs up. And if you would like to be in my next video, go ahead and send me your best selfie. My email address is on down below and my, this, ah, my email address is down below in the description box but anyways um i'm christina marie i'm out bye